Today we're going to talk about taser modules and the voltage in them and I want to show you a cool build that I did. Here's what it was. This right here was the build. Now it's a little torn up now. But right here. This is a very cool build. It only requires a couple things. You need uh, two AA batteries or three will work well as well. This right here is a small taser module. This is the big one. You can pick up a pack of these for about 20 bucks on the, on the Amazon. Anyway, let's get into the project. It's pretty cool. Sounded terrifying, doesn't it? Yeah, these voltage modules don't play around. There's only four voltage modules here, and as you can see, it was powered by two AA batteries. I just want to tell you one thing I like to use. Right here, I got a little resistor. I don't know if you can even see it, but the little metal pieces on it is what actually I'm using on this device. And it's because they're easily soldered, and they stand up to high heat. So when you do this project, it's going to be important that those two factors are taken into play. And one of these works really well to do that. Just cut these ends off and go ahead and glue them onto your board. So let's take a look at how to put this thing together. On this one, I do the number one on the inside and then the rest of the numbers on the outside. But you get the general idea. We're just connecting them 180 degrees out from each other, so straight across from each other. Each module goes in the exact same way, so one to one, then two to two, three to three, four to four. As you can see, we just hook up two AA batteries in this, and hopefully you get a good understanding of how to do this. I just use super glue here to connect the little metal pieces to the board itself. Now here's my project, just beaten to hell. I've done a lot of stuff with it, and I almost burned it down once. But all you got to do really is you just need a piece of wood with a hole in it. I prefer the wood, you know when it's on fire, take it outside, hose it off, leave it out there for a while, make sure nothing starts up again, a little bit of safety. But on these, you never want to touch anything uh, when you're dealing with this, because it will shock the living daylights out of you, and it is not okay to feel. Anyway, just a piece of wood with a hole in it works good for this project. So when we connect the batteries of these, how do we want to do it? Well, I generally take all the red connectors together and put them into a wire and just solder a wire onto it. I put all the black together, solder a wire onto it. Now, put your double A's two in unison like this. Put the wires on each side, this one negative, this one positive, and it'll do it for you. To make it easier, I generally take the two batteries, put them together, and I put some tape around it. That way it's steady lined up and it's easy to connect. You can connect it with a switch in the middle uh, right after the two are hooked up. Before you get to this line here you could put a switch in the middle of that and that'll give you the ability to turn it on and off without having to use anything else. This is what it looks like when you run it on one AA battery but it gives you a good idea of what's actually happening here. As you can see here, the spark doesn't go directly across. It goes into the voltage module next to it. That I found pretty interesting. When I go to two AA's, it looks like it's doing more, but it's really not doing that. It's doing the same thing it did before with the single AA, just better. Now that we know how the taser modules work, let's go ahead and get our device and let's add another power source to it. We're going to add a flyback transformer and one of the regular module builds that I use and let's go ahead and just make it spark. So we're going to hook up our high voltage modules the way we did before but now we're just going to run a wire in between on the hole right there on the wood. We're just going to run them in between and spark it off. As soon as the high voltage modules turn on we're going to spark this thing. Let's see how violent it'll get.
So I just wanted to show you the guy I got the original idea from. Here's his page right here. I'll link it in the description. And here's his project. In looking back on this guy's project, I should have used a clear material like he did instead of the wood. You can see the glow coming off of it. Maybe just a little PLA, I know it would probably burn, but the uh, effect on it would look really cool. I hope you enjoyed this project today. It was a blast to build. It was really fun. I, you know, if you've seen this channel enough, you know I like voltage, and I like to run a lot of different things in different ways to see how they react. This was one of the most violent reactions you're going to get. I can't wait to see my vacuum chamber up and running because I can't wait to see this inside of it. So anyway, the cheap project, real uh, easy to build, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. If you like what you saw here today, please like and subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching to the very end. As a bonus, I wanted to show you what this guy did on his channel. I went ahead and tried to replicate it here, but he really got it better than I do. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing. Drop it, and they're just completely cooked off.